Alright, this is the first video in our series of five that will address how to calculate the volume of composite solids. Now first things first, a composite solid is basically a solid that's created by combining two or more other solids or sometimes even subtracting uh, some solids. So this one is going to be our first one and, and for all of these we'll have five videos on volume. Each video has two examples and then we'll go come back and do surface area in a five part series as well. Surface area is much more challenging for this. Alright, when we're talking about volume, again we're talking about how much stuff you can fit inside. So we're talking this whole solid and in this solid we have the top rectangular prism and the bottom rectangular prism combined together. So our strategy is of course to find the volume of the small one, let's call that figure A, and add that to the volume of the large one at the bottom. So here we go, let's do the volume of the small prism on top. Volume of that rectangular prism is length times width times height. The length of that is 30, the width is 4, and the height is 3. All right, this is your width, this is 4, and your height is given to be 3. And your length, of course, is 30. All right, so the volume of that is 30 times 3 is 90, times 4 is 360 cubic inches. Now let's come back and do the volume of the bottom prism. The bottom prism is also rectangular, so we're going to go length times width times height. It's 39 times 4 times 7. 39 times 4 times 7. Let's do that. 39, let's see, 39 times 4 times 7. That's 1092. So we have 1092 cubic inches. All right, and of course the total volume of the whole thing is volume of letter A plus volume of letter B. So to find volume of the whole thing, we're just going to take 360 plus 1092. So 360 plus 1092. We're going to get 1452, 1,452 cubic inches for the whole thing, volume of the whole thing. And we talk about volume, we're talking about how much stuff you can fit inside of this. You know, a lot of times it's easy to think about volume in terms of liquid how much liquid you can fit in the entire composite solid. Composite again means that we're kind of like combining the solids. All right, number two. This composite solid is created by taking a cylinder, let's call that figure A, and a rectangular prism. So here we go, volume of figure A is pi r squared h, that's a cylinder volume. The radius is 5, the height is 24. <clears throat> and all you want to do is just multiply that out. 25 times pi, uh, 25 times pi times 24. And you get 1884.955. Alright, and the bottom figure, the volume of that is length times width times height. It's a rectangular prism, so we're going to go 116 times 13 times 21. 116 times 13 times 21. And let's see, 21, and that's 31668. 
And of course, to find the volume of the whole thing, volume of the whole thing is V sub A plus V sub B. So we have, let's see, th add that to our previous answer. I'll just type that 1884. Point, uh, I'll try to use as many decimals as possible and that'll give us a pretty good pretty good answer there 33,552 the whole volume is 33,552 .956 cubic inches so again if we were to fill this whole thing up with water or something including the cylinder on top the cylinder plus the whole prism is 33,552 alright so that was our first video with composite volume we'll do four more volumes and then like I said five surface area videos as well this is uh, certainly when we get into composites we start really complicating all the volume and surface area that we've previously learned individually. Now we have to combine a lot of our skills.